Are you not concerned, though, that the message has shifted from two years ago where uh, kind of has been able to go after the fact that there's been a congressional ethics uh, investigation against you and also the fact that he's been able to build his brand, uh, get Silicon Valley luminaries to back his campaign? Uh, how do you uh, deal with those challenges? Well, I, I think it takes a lot of effort and a lot of time and a lot of print to say that it's, it wasn't ethics. It was about breaking or assi assuming that we had broken some house rules. We did not break any rule, uh, any laws that we have out there. So I, I think that there's a distinction in that. And also, um, we have a process that's in place right now where the House Congressional Ethics Committee is really doing the work. But uh, unfortunately, they won't be able to have their results out till after the election. So I have to uh, depend upon my um, constituents to understand who I am, where I came from, how much I've done, and my reputation, and hope that they remember who I am and that they, they trust my, uh, my uh, character and my, my history. Do you look at this investigation as a giant smear against you and your character? I think the way they use it and the way the print media has been going about it, it it's, been, uh, it's been just exactly that. And I think that people, when they see it long enough, and start reading the words like may have, alleged, uh, appear to have, those are all soft words that says there's no conclusion yet. And the, uh, the conclusion really needs to be uh, arrived at the end of the process. And so I think one of the things that happen in politics is that the print media can uh, try you in the public and also pass judgment and have people have a opinion. But I, I think that uh, my long-term uh, stay here in this, uh, this district and this community will play well in, 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 the, in the idea that uh, they know who I am and they'll just say, okay, uh, we understand what's going on. So, so definitively though, there w were no uh, breaches, no impropriety c conducted by you or members of your campaign. Well, I think that they made it appear to have uh, done that, but I think that when the process is over uh, with the uh, House uh, Congressional Ethics Committee, we'll see what they decide. I don't think they've done anything wrong, but uh, in order to address that issue in the public, I just said there's a bright line between my official staff and my campaign staff, and nobody in my official staff can volunteer on the, um, on the campaign staff. Thank you.